All right, YouTube, you got Mitchell here. I'm fixing to make another video. Uh, I did one not too long ago relative to uh, Kraft cheese slices and the unhappiness that comes with eating that. Uh, if you're interested in that, I'm going to post a link for it down below so you can go ahead and check that out. Uh, today, I'm looking to make a video on Coca-Cola. We all love pop. There's no question. Okay, I drink pop. Everybody drinks pop. There's no way to get around it. Some people choose to drink diet pop thinking that's better for them, but the aspartame that's in that is actually worse than drinking the regular pop. But that's a whole other can of worms there. But uh, for today, I just want to show you something that might help deter you wanting to put this in your body. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take a bottle of Coke and we're going to take some whole fat milk. And all I'm going to do is add some whole fat milk to the Coke bottle. I'm going to let this sit for about six hours, six or seven hours, and then I'm going to come back and show you what that does. Now let's think about this for a second. What, would, what relevance would milk have to Coke? Seriously though, would it sit on the top and, and not mix in or would it just make a cloudiness to it? What would you think that whole fat milk is going to do to this bottle of Coke? Well when I come back and show it to you, you are just going to be astonished with the results that we get and it's actually very, very, very disgusting. So first thing we're going to do, I'll show you right now. Fresh bottle, not tampered at all. Whole fat milk. There's nothing complicated about what we're about to do here. I'm just going to dump out a little bit of the pop. Okay? So I got that much pop in there, and I'm going to add my milk to it. Okay? So there's that. I didn't even put that much in there. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to set this aside, and I'll come back and show you what happens to this, and you're going to be shocked. Okay, I'm back. So it hasn't even been six hours, okay? I think right now it's four o'clock. I did this at 11.30. So I want to show you the results here. And again, we're just trying to show that some of this store-bought stuff that they're selling to us and everybody, if you give this to your kids, well, that's on you. But I mean, you know, it's just toxic. It's poison. It's nasty. It's gross. So let's just show you what we did here, okay? It has only been a few hours. We added some milk to that. Look at that, okay? Look at the bottom of that. What, what, what exactly is that? Okay, we've got this like dirty water looking thing on the top. And, and here's what I'm going to do, okay? I'm going to cut the... Let's just take the Coca-Cola wrapper right off of it. Now look at that. We've got something that resembles piss on the top here. And then we have this brown floaty substance in the bottom. So if I didn't know any better, you would think that I hauled this up out of the toilet. I mean, what do you want to call that? Let's call it diabetes. Let's call it colon cancer. Let's call it all kinds of nasty in a bottle. And we're paying for this. I mean it. It's astounding that a little bit of milk in a bottle is going to cause Coca-Cola to do that. So that is absolutely disgusting. Okay? And then, I mean, what? Can we... Let's give her a shake. See if we can put her back so she's good to go. You know? And then it just... It just, it's just nasty, like, it turns into brown kind of arse water, like, it looks like something out of a toilet, so, I just wanted to show you that, uh, it's very weird that that does that, that it's, it settles down like that, that you put a little bit of milk in there, piss water, something that resembles something out of a toilet in the bottom, and that is your Coca-Cola product that you're ingesting and putting into your body, so, that's not reassuring that you, you want to drink this stuff, so, I hope you liked the video. You know, there's lots more. Check out my channel. Thanks a lot for watching.